Hi, I'm Havish, and in this video, we are going to continue with our AS400 IBMI connection, which we have established in Visual Studio Code IDE. So, we have a Visual Studio Code running with the code for I extension, and we have connected with our PUP400 server. If you go through our previous video, you will see that we have explained the process of installation and configuration of Visual Studio Code. Today, we will be looking at compilation and editing of the programs. So let's begin. So we only need to focus at the object browser for now, where we have created a filter for source physical files for my personal library previously. So let us hide all the other windows that we do not need so we only need the object browser all right now um, let us focus on editing a member so let's try to edit the company lf so company lf is the lf for this physical file over here let's also look at the source code so as we click on the member the member loads up from AS400 into our Visual Studio ID. So we have this physical file DDS, which we created in one of the previous videos where we have many fields. So this is a table of uh, New York Stock Exchange companies where we have different fields available. Let's look at the data that we currently have in the physical file. So we have the sample data where we have the NYSE ID, name of the company, the stock price of the company and so on. So let's try to do some changes to the logical file. We have a lot of select omit criteria currently. So we'll keep it simple. And uh, if you look at the logical file through AS400 SQL company LF, you will see that it does not have the stock price. We'll try to add the stock price now. So we'll just modify the DDS and we will add the stock price field, which is price. So I'll just write price over here. Let's save it. So once you save with Control S, the white color icon of the file being edited goes away. Your file is now saved. Now, if you look at the documentation for code for i on GitHub, you will see that uh, they have mentioned that you can edit a code, you can make it full screen with F11, like so. Uh, you can double click on the name, I think, or you can click on Control B to have it occupy the entire window space as you would want then it talks about source dates uh, it says that the source dates are disabled by default and they need to be enabled so we'll look at source dates later on okay so let's look at compilation so it says that you can compile an active tab with Control e and if you do not save it it will ask you it will prompt you for saving so let's try to compile this logical file with Control e so when I press Ctrl E, I'm presented with a set of default uh, options which I can use for compilation. So there is create service program, delete file, create logical file, create program, and so on. So I so I know that this is a logical file, so I can utilize the create logical file CRTLF. I'm just pressing down arrow keys and I can select. You can see the updates of the task going on in the below terminal and above it is waiting for my prompt so it has auto created a command of crtlf with source physical file and if i press enter it has now submitted the job for compilation now compilation has failed and uh, it failed because the object already exists as you can see over here file company lf in library already exists so we will have to delete the file first so let's try control e again Let's go back to our DDS of the LF. Let's try Control E again. Let's try to do delete file. So with delete file, 
it has created a command delete file file my library name slash company lf and press enter that because the file is open in my tn5250 session so let's come out of the file and uh, yeah now it has given me a message that delete file is successful now let's try compilation so create logical file and press enter this is running compilation and it says that the logical file compilation was successful so let's try to do a select star from the logical file again and in the output you can see that the nav or the uh, stock price of the individual stocks is now visible so the field that was earlier missing is now visible so our editing and compilation is successful for logical files let's try to also edit a program so let's try to edit an rpg program if possible so we can close the company lf the old log and the source codes so we are now left with only one open tab test rpg and rpg le so let's change the display message from hello world from rpg to hello world from rpg edited from visual studio code it's saved and now let's try compilation with control e to create bound rpg program and it says that the program was created successfully to click on open output it gives you the log or the spool file which says that it is compiled successfully with no errors above 30 cv return so let's try to run the program so let's do call qcmd and let's execute that one more time and left in so you get the updated program running here which is hello world from rpg edited from visual studio code so we have seen basic editing and compilation of members available in source physical files so we can do the same things with source codes of other languages like cobol cl c plus plus etc so that is it for today's video thank you for watching if you do like these videos, kindly consider subscribing to the channel. Bye-bye.